So finally, the day has arrived. After all of the, the speculation, the, the fixation, the worries about whether we were even going to get the game released after Hypertech decided that they wanted to play a little game of Phoenix Wright. It's finally here. It's currently about half past midnight here in the UK on launch day, the 18th of August, Friday of 2023. The Lorcana trading card game is here and we've got an opening of one of every of the sealed product. And we're starting off, of course, where it makes sense to, with the three starter decks, your uh, Sapphire Steel, your Amber and Amethyst, and Emerald and Ruby. We'll start from left to right first off. We'll start with the Sapphire Steel deck. Of course, the lists of these have been out for a little bit of time now, but this is my, well, Truth be told, this is my second time opening these decks. I ordered two copies of these because I pre-ordered them before the deck lists were released. You might be able to just see uh, on uh, the side there the, the deck list uh, if it wants to focus. There we go. You can just see the side the, the deck list right there. But we I pre-ordered these before the deck list was even out. Uh, so I didn't know what the breakdown of cards was going to be and, and things like that. But... Now we do, now they're here, um, there's a few extra copies of cards than, than I initially thought of, of things that we'll need. Uh, but we'll go through them all here in your breakdowns and things like that. So we start off, we've got three copies of Uncommon Aurora. Uh, this will be important for one of the feature cards, one of the face cards. Super rare Aurora Dreaming Guardian has that shift ability, shift three. Uh, and the protective embrace to give other characters ward as well. And we've seen how important that is with the card like Kuzco in Emerald. That's a really, really nice card. Uh, shame it's only at one. Obviously, it's the face card. It's just the foil or super rare. It makes sense to be, but at least it gets us off to a, a nice start in the collection if we want to move into playing blue. Your other face card is Simba, just the rare Return King. Uh, it's a seven cost, four, six, quest for two. Challenger plus four, which is a nice little stat line, so it makes it an eight, six if it's challenging, and all your characters gain evasive during your turn as well, so they can challenge into things like Peter Pan, uh, the Flotsam and Jetsam combo if they've both got evasive and rush and things like that. Uh, we've got uh, some two cost Auroras. We've got Citizens of Lorcana's favorite card, two copies of Flounder, two copies of Grand Bartala, a card that is going to be a... Early game staple in blue to ramp up as soon as you get banished from a challenge or from a dragon fire or anything like that. It goes straight into the inkwell. Uh, two copies of Jasmine, just a two lore quester. Three copies of four cost Maleficent. Five cost Maleficent, the rare one copy of that. Uh, another blue staple and one of the three organized play promo cards in Mickey Mouse Detective. Another card that will help your ramp gets a body on board and as soon as you play it, Put a top card of the deck into your inkwell face down and exert it. Let me know if you want to make me make a, a little tutorial as well and a little how to play uh, with the the game as well. Two copies of Mufasa, uh, one Scar, three copies of Develop Your Brain. Not a bad little card. Uh, good deck filtering and scry. Uh, two copies of Dwayne Jabba Head. Three copies of Basket, uh, two copies of Magical Garden Flower will be useful in the Item Slingers deck. Just want to build as many items, put as many items on board as possible. Uh, two copies of Beast, three copies of Captain Hook, two copies of Goons, two Hercules, two Kristoff, one of the big beefy rare Maui, the 8 for 8 3 Law Questa, two copies of Prince Eric. Two copies of a Simba, three copies of Fire the Cannons, very, very generous. Uh, one copy of Grab Your Swords, very, very important uh, steel removal early game. Of course, it can be sung, so the combo in steel is typically if you uh, shift with the, the Big Tink, as it's affectionately called, shifting for four. And of course, because of its natural costing, you can sing straight away with that big tink to sing grab your sword so you can get in you can deal one to everything when you shift onto the the little tink with the super rare then immediately exert it to sing and you're dealing with three damage uh, two copies of ransack two of smash and two frying pan so that is your steel sapphire starter deck and we will treat you to the pack as well in the also in the, the starter deck i should say i should point out just for this one first you get a a quick start rules, the quick start rules that have been revealed and were leaked 
uh, quite some time ago, I think it was February, that it got revealed. Uh, and a little like half planet thing that just kind of gives you a general outline of where the zones and where your cards need to be, as well as some little cardboard punch outs. So that's the typical structure of your starter deck, and then all importantly, your one booster pack. Now I will show privately before, because I went to my friendly local game store, a beautiful one of guys over at Fanboy 3. Uh, they hosted a midnight release for Disney Lorcana. Uh, and because I ordered two copies of the starter deck, I thought, you know what, let me open one of each, uh, one copy of each of them. I've got the spares to open for this video. What could possibly go wrong? Well, that could. That is a foil, legendary, Spirit of Winter Elsa. Look at that card. The shine, the foiling, doesn't come up the best. Eh, a little bit on the, on the camera. Of course, it's in a sleeve as well, which is... An official or kind of sleeve, the pack of hook sleeves. I've got the hook deck box there as well. But yeah, that was a really nice pull. That was a really fun pull to uh, to get a hold of. But we want those all important chanted reds. I've seen two pulls already so far in the midnight release in the friendly local game store. So can we get one in this series of videos? Of course, in the background here. Zooming out, we've got the Illuminaires Trove, we've got the gift set, and we've got, of course. One full and opened booster box. So for the commons, we've got Abu, Pumba, Maleficent, Evasive Pizza Pan, very nice common card, uh, Phil and Aladdin. Uncommons, we've got Sven, Jumba Jukiba, and one jump ahead. Our first rare is Hans. Not a bad rare for three questing, three, three. And then a Rockstar Stitch. Nice. That is, I think, my first copy so far of the uh, super rare the Amber Shifting card. Whenever you play a character with cost two or less, you exert them, You can exert them to draw a card. Happens a lot in the Amber Rush decks. And then the foil is the Beast is Mine. So not the best one. Uh, and then one of the puzzle cards we'll be having to... We should be building uh, every single uh, one of the, uh, we should be building the puzzle, so we'll just pop that in, in the top there, and we'll go with the Emerald and Ruby deck, which is a kind of combination that I've got my eye on a little bit. I've uh, still not quite fully committed onto what initial constructed deck I'm gonna uh, try and build from the first time out, so same deal as the, uh, the last starter deck. Drop those over there. Tracking the contents of the deck itself. So, two Aladdin, one of the Foil Cruella de Vil Rare, one of the Super Rare other face card, the Aladdin Heroic Outlaw. Really want this one in Enchanted. Aladdin is one of my favourite Disney movies of all time. In fact, put down in the comments below what is your favourite Disney movie of all time? There's so many good ones uh, to try and choose from. Two copies of Duke, three copies of Horace, uh, one rare Iago to Jasper, three copies of Mad Hatter. This is a really nice card uh, in Emerald. Whenever it's challenge, you may draw a card and a lot of people are gonna want a challenge because it quests for three. And you don't want that going unchecked easily. Uh, three Megara, three Mickey Mouse, which is the playmat, a little bit covered at the moment, but is the playmat that I elected to go for, the, the Steamboat Mickey. Uh, two of those evasive Peter Pans that we pulled earlier. Mother Knows Best, a really nice bounce spell uh, for Emerald. Three cost, of course, is uninkable, but you can sing it. Uh, two Stampede, one Steal from the Rich, two Vicious Betrayal, and two Stolen Scimitar. Those are your Emerald cards. And then for Ruby, triple Street Rat Aladdin, uh, double Captain, double Donald Duck, one Rare LeFou, three Pongo, another evasive card, uh, Rapunzel, three of those, two Fiery Usurper Scars, one of your uh, organized play pins that you can win. I'll definitely be Trying to quest for those. Three Sergeant Tibbs, one Rare Stitch, uh, three Dragonfire Premium Red Removal, Ruby Removal, uh, two copies of He's Got a Sword, and two copies of Shield of Virtue, which is a, another nice little uh, another nice little card up here. We'll bring the face cards up. And we'll pop you over here, because you'll be 
there fine in a moment once this last bit's open and out away. Second pack, this one from the Ruby and Emerald Stars deck. So we've got in common Peter Pan, Mr. Smee, uh, Elsa, so I can now shift onto that one, uh, Mickey Mouse, uh, Mufasa, and Break, your uncommons, Rash Rafiki, nice little card, Basilier's cards. I'm a big fan of this one, a little bit of a sleeper hit. You may pay one less for the next action you play this turn. Could uh, break its way into the game soon. And then a Triton, and then part of your world. Okay, some Recursion. And then another Hans Scheming Prince. And a Foil Coconut Basket in Uncommon. And if you're wondering, Yes, that was unfortunately the same puzzle piece of the Brave Little Taylor artwork. So, one last starter deck to open, and it is the Amber Amethyst. Colour combination that I was talking to a couple of people uh, at the midnight release tonight is a colour combination that people are looking to, to perhaps play. Let's dump the box over there. We'll keep the pack. Is that three? I think that was three... Uh, Brave Little Taylor pack out there as well. Okay, so to go through the deck quickly, we've got uh, two copies of Voiceless Ariel on Human Legs Ariel. Nice flavour texting there that uh, it can't sing. Uh, one of the Moanas, the uh, Sorcerer Mickey in Super Rare, two Cinderella, one Hades, two copies of Hey Hey, which is another one of your uh, promos for organised play. Uh, two Maximus, three Mickey, three Mini, uh, three Stitch, two Be Our Guests, two Control Your Temper, two Hakuna Matata. There's another copy of Part of Your World, so that's me up to three copies now, I think. Uh, three Dingle Hoppers, uh, one rare Dr. Facilier. This is a very, very good card, uh, as is the uh, Charlton Dr. Facilier. Two cost is Challenger 2 and is a 0 4. Uh, one copy of Flotsam, two Jafars, two Jetsam, three Magic Broom, uh, two Draw Maleficent, another nice little card in uh, common, actually, that's quite crazy. Uh, three Olaf, two Pascal, three Rafiki, one Sven, uh, three copies of Wardrobe, two copies of Yzma, which is your last organised play promo, and three copies of Friends of the Other Side. Really, really good draw card in Amethyst. So we'll pop that up there and crack into the final pack of this video, but not of the opening. Got plenty more sealed products to open up. The next one, if you want to watch these videos chronologically, is going to be the gift set with the, uh, the oversized Hades and Mulan cards. So final pack in this video. If you've enjoyed it, guys, please drop a like. Uh, hit the subscribe button as well. I'll be pl pumping out plenty of Lorcana content in the coming months and weeks to come. So, your commons Abu, Pumba, Draw Spell Maleficent, Invasive Peter Pan, a Blue Phil, and Goons. Your uncommons is Jumba, One Jump Ahead, and LeFou. And then rares are just in time. Nice little rare yellow amber action. And then Genie, Powers Unleashed. This is one of the enchanted cards that you can get. Uh, is another little sleeper card. And then the foil is a common Cerberus. <laughs> it's the same puzzle art card. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed the starter deck opening and run through. Like I say, guys, if you want a little how to plan tutorial video on Lorcana, be sure to let me know in the comments below. But uh, I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to get you straight into opening the gift set. That's to come next and will be for me and hopefully for you too. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.